Wasting sounds like a big scary word and people like to throw it around to make themselves seem smarter and like they know what they're talking about. But in reality, hoisting is actually a very simple concept in JavaScript, and it's so simple I'm going to explain everything you need to know about hoisting using less than 10 lines of code. Welcome back to Web Dev Simplified. My name is Kyle, and my job is to simplify the web for you so you can start building your dream project sooner. And today we're going to be talking about hoisting, and this code right here is pretty much all I need to explain how hoisting works. So we have two functions that do exactly the same thing. They just add the numbers A and B together. The only difference is this first function is defined using the function keyword. So I've called it sum func. And this bottom function down here is defined using the const keyword. So I just added const to the sum name. And you can see they're printing out. We're adding one and two, it gives us three. Adding three and four and it gives us seven. They're working just fine. And the reason this works is because in JavaScript, all of your code runs from the top of the file all the way to the bottom of the file in order. So we're defining this function, we're defining this function, and then we're running these two console log statements, top to bottom, just like that. But if you've used JavaScript for a while, you'll notice that you can actually take functions and move them wherever you want in your code. For example, our function is now at the very bottom. And even though our function's at the bottom, everything still works which seems a little bit counterintuitive because you would think, okay, you run your code top to bottom, we define this function. Now we get to this line where we're trying to call our sum func function. But we haven't actually defined that function yet. So why is it that we can actually move this function to the bottom and everything still works? It gets even more confusing because if we move this sum function down to the bottom, you're now going to notice we're going to get errors. This first one still works just fine, but this second one is no longer working. It's saying, hey, we can't reference this sum const function before we initialize it. So sometimes this is working and sometimes it isn't. The whole reason this is working is because of hoisting. What hoisting does in JavaScript is it essentially takes some of your code and it moves it to the very top of your file automatically for you. So what in our case is happening is this function right here, when we run our code before our actual code runs, JavaScript automatically takes this function and it moves us all the way to the very top of our file. And it'll do this for every single function we have that's defined with the function keyword. So anytime you define a function, it's going to get moved as if it was at the top of your file, and then your code is going to run. So that means that if I have a function, for example, this sum func, and I have it defined at the bottom of my file, everything is still gonna work fine when I save because before the code runs, JavaScript is essentially moving this function to the very top of my file for me, which means it's going to be defined when I try to use it. But this does not happen when you use the const keyword. This only happens when you use the function keyword. And that's where a lot of people get tripped up when it comes to hoisting because only normal functions are hoisted, while things like arrow functions defined with const or let, for example, are not hoisted. Now, the reason for this is because variables defined using const and let, which in our example, arrow functions using const and let, those are not hoisted. That's just built into how const and let work. They are never hoisted at all. So if you want to define a function at the bottom of your file, using the normal function keyword is the way to go. Now that right there covers like 99% of your use case when it comes to hoisting, but there's actually one other thing in JavaScript that is hoisted that isn't a function, and that is the var keyword. So you probably know const and let for defining variables, but you can also define variables using the var keyword. And if we look over here at our error, it says reference error cannot access this function before initialization. If I change this to say var, we're going to get a different error. Instead, it's going to say uncaught type arrow, some const is not a function. And that's because the var keyword actually is hoisted as well. And the way that it works is a little bit different than how functions work. So let me just change this here to say two. We're just going to call this a variable. We'll call it var. Actually, we'll call it a. And we'll get rid of all the rest of this code. And we'll just have console.log a. So right now, this is working. We're logging out the variable two. What happens if we move this console log above where we define a? Well, if this was defined using a const or let variable, we're going to get an error because it's like, hey, a is not defined yet because we're trying to use it before we define it. Well, the var, we're not going to get an error. It's going to print out undefined. And that's because anytime you create a variable using var, essentially what JavaScript does is at the very top of your file, it creates an initialization that looks like this. And then wherever your variable is defined, it essentially is just setting that variable. So essentially your code gets converted to something like this. And when we run it, you see we get the exact same result. So every time you use var, it's going to hoist the initialization of that variable to the top of your file, but it's just going to be initialized to undefined until you actually initialize that in your code. Now, luckily for you, this is really not something you have to worry about because var is something you probably should never use in programming. You should always use let or const because they are just better ways of defining variables and they get rid of a lot of the problems such as hoisting that you really don't want to deal with with variables that use var. The only time you're ever going to see a var variable is in like really tricky interview questions where they're going to, you know, write out code that looks just like this 
and they're gonna ask you what is the output of this code. Most people would say it's gonna throw an error, but technically now that you've seen this video, you know it's going to output undefined. 10 lines of code and five minutes later, and now you understand everything you need to know about hoisting, but this is only one of many JavaScript concepts out there. If you wanna understand all these JavaScript concepts using this easy to understand simplified format, you're gonna love my JavaScript simplified course. It breaks down every important JavaScript concept in an easy to understand video, also has tons of different projects and walkthroughs for you to really test your skills. And best of all, it doesn't matter what skill level you are, you can take this course and learn a ton, and it's gonna take you all the way to an advanced developer by the time you're done with this course. So if you're interested, it's gonna be linked down in the description below. I highly recommend you check it out. With that said, thank you very much for watching and have a good day.